Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another crazy video as usual. So ever since the new season has come out, pros have been going absolutely wild on Twitter. And yesterday, hashtag rip Fortnite was trending everywhere. Now this happened for multiple reasons. One, of course, because pros, they just hate the new season and the changes that Epic Games made. But also yesterday, live on stream, Clix was personally contacted by Epic Games and they threatened to ban him from Fortnite if he continued to do wagers. Hashtag rip Fortnite wasn't the only thing that trended yesterday though. Also, hashtag thank you Epic Games was trending. A lot of content creators and even casual players came together and tweeted that out and showed Epic Games support and basically said thank you. Without Fortnite, we wouldn't be in the position we are in today. So the community was almost split 50-50, which led to a crazy war. On one side, you have the switch sweaty, competitive pro players, then on the other side, you have the casual and content creators. So in today's video, I'm going to break down all of that, the fights on Twitter, players going crazy, and of course, clicks getting threatened by Epic Games. So the anger all started at the beginning of Season 6, and specifically with one of the new weapon additions to Fortnite, the Primal Shotgun. I'm sure many of you have already died to this gun and absolutely hate it. It's a little broken, it really is, I'm not going to deny that, and I'm sure many players aren't as well, but at this point, we all need to realize this is Fortnite and Epic Games. They always do this. They always add in weapons or items that are a little OP and just dominate the meta. And it happens almost every single season. You can always count on Epic Games throwing in some crazy stuff. So you would kind of expect a lot of these pros and competitive players to realize that it's going to happen and you just got to adapt. Now, with that being said, I also do understand the frustration because Epic Games does have a really bad history of not communicating very well with the pros or the community. So what they really need to do, and I don't understand why they haven't, pros have been asking for it for a very long time, is for Epic Games every season to have a competitive loot pool. Now, this doesn't even have to be an arena loot pool. It could just be an option that you put in custom games so that pros and players can practice with the loot pool and then have that actual loot pool in the FNCS and cash cups. Now that is one of the biggest issues in the game right now, but it's not the only one. The second massive issue going on right now is stream snipers, and this mostly has to do with the really popular pros and big streamers such as Clicks, Ronaldo, Unknown Army, Booga, Benji Fishy, pretty much anybody who streams and gets a lot of viewers absolutely hates playing Fortnite right now because they can't play arena and that's one of the best ways to get practice in Fortnite and to play the game and also have fun with your chat but when you're getting stream sniped by almost 50 plus people every single game there's literally no enjoyment in that so with these two things combined together the top tier pros just do not enjoy Fortnite right now and one of the only ways for them to continue to play the game without having to deal with the primal shotgun or stream snipers was to play creative and what's every pro's favorite thing to do in creative that's right wagers whether it's box fights zone wars or pg Pros love wagers. So at this point, creative and wagers were really the biggest reason for pros to continue to play the game and actually try to enjoy it. But that was all ruined yesterday when Clix was contacted midstream by an Epic Games employee and was told that if he continued to do wagers on his stream, he was going to be banned. So he immediately shut it down. He made the announcement with a tweet. He said, won't be playing or having anything to do with wagers anymore. Just got personally messaged by Epic and was told to stop or will result in a ban. I recommend others to stop as well, tweeting this so people are aware. He then followed up that that tweet with a reply saying this. Also, I won't be able to play Arena with the amount of effing stream snipers I have, so I will be starting to play Arena box fights or green vs purple go goaded. And after this tweet, all hell broke loose, guys. Drops from KNG replied, he said, It's crazy how quick they reply about wagers but not stream snipers. And then Plowlism, who basically built his entire name and brand off of 1v1 wagers, said this, so basically, you can't play creative because it's bannable, and you can't play the battle royale because 50 stream snipers are bending you over every game. 
what do they actually expect people to stream now then? Motors said this, not allowed. Sub customs and Fortnite wagers, allowed? Getting effed by a primal shotgun while Epic Games is swimming in money. Now these were just some tweets under Clix's post, there were so many more, but let's go ahead and take a look at Ronaldo's separate tweets. He said, literally an embarrassment being Epic Games, LOL. Now Ronaldo's always been super harsh on Epic Games, especially in times like this. He continued with a few more posts. He said, I'm really confused if Fortnite actually is trying to kill their game. Literally getting rid of wagers of any sort doesn't do anything to stream snipers, doesn't communicate, lowering money every FNCS, and overall getting rid of fun. Do they even care anymore? No hate. Like, I get I'm known for giving hate and all, but in all seriousness, I don't know how much longer this game has with the pro community at least. Maybe the casuals, but there is nothing to stream on Fortnite anymore. So Ron went pretty ham there on Epic Games and said he doesn't know how much more longer Epic and Fortnite has, especially with the competitive community. Now to be honest, I wouldn't worry too much about this. There's a lot of hungry players out there that would love to win some of the prize money in FNCS and all of the other tournaments. Fortnite definitely isn't going anywhere. It's going to continue to be a super popular game and it's actually still growing. Now some other streamers came out had to say this arenas filled with stream snipers can't do wagers arena box fights is only here for two weeks wtf are we supposed to stream team rumble or something oh my god now as i just mentioned fortnite is still growing bala tweeted this out he said to me it's actually crazy how fortnite and comp are still showing insane growth despite the community telling their millions of followers that the game is dead every few months y'all tripping laughing emoji and there was plenty of support for epic games too hypex one of the most popular youtubers and community leakers in fortnite tweeted this out just want to say hashtag thank you epic games again for changing my life in the last four years i dropped out at 15 because the school system sucks in countries like mine and good schools were too expensive for my family so i didn't know what to do until this game came out heart emoji now hypex made another tweet and this one caught a lot of attention and heat from certain pro players he said i don't understand how most comp players expect communication when they are more toxic and immature than all other games communities combined and this nearly got 20,000 likes now one pro in specific young calc came out and he replied to hypex saying this this guy makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a year for tweeting out lines of code and is talking about how we are too toxic when they add game breaking stuff that costs us thousands of dollars. Now I understand both sides of the argument. Fortnite has done so many amazing things for people out there including myself and I am personally forever grateful for that. Now as for pros, I understand they're frustrated, the game is in a pretty tough competitive state, there are some OP items in the game, and stream snipers, they're impossible to deal with, and I'm sure Epic Games are working on it it's probably something that isn't easy to deal with but i know they've been trying to as for the wagers honestly you can't blame epic games for this it's literally gambling and it is illegal in almost every single country for underage people to gamble and honestly epic games is probably making this decision for the safety of the game there's some crazy powerful people out there who could try to shut down fortnite because there are wagers going on with underage players gambling so you just got to respect that decision and understand that it's just against the law and epic games has to follow the law and it's always been against the rules so there's nothing really we can do about that guys we got to respect it and that is going to be the end of the video let me know what you guys think about all of these crazy topics down below i love you guys so much thank you for watching i'm out of here peace